It is time for a new edition of Hiring Heidi, where Heidi tries her hand at your job. Now, Heidi, this week, it's a job that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Yeah, I don't know about you, Pat, but I'm a sushi lover, so I decided to go to Samurai Sombrero to see if I have what it takes to be a sushi chef. Like most jobs, I had to get my gloves on. Just get some oil? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because this job was hands-on. How much rice? How do I know when that's uh, enough rice? Is that know. good? It's, yeah, it is good. <laughs> I had to evenly spread out the rice on the nori. Oh, wait. I see what's happening. I have to make it look pretty. Yeah, this was the outer what? layer of my roll. Now for the inner layer. This is hard already. Cream cheese, then cilantro pieces, and the fried shrimp. Okay, so the tail goes in the middle. Like it this? in the middle and the head goes out. Okay. Yeah. Now for the hardest part. Uh-oh. The professional had to step in for this one. This is an ugly sushi roll. Luckily, I had a Mikisu to hopefully help me out. Okay, let's see how it looks. Ooh, not bad, but not cute. Can't forget the toppings. This is hard. This looks like amateur sushi making. Now for the final touches. Okay. Oh my gosh, my toppings are falling. One last attempt to shape it correctly. I squished the avocado. The slicing may have been the easiest part. Look at this piece that doesn't have any avocado. Time to plate it. Ah! And we can't forget the ginger and wasabi. Ah! And of course the sauces. That's messy. My personal favorite, the eel sauce. Oh, this is what makes it pretty. Now it looks professional, not too bad. So I was just here trying my hand at being a sushi chef at Samurai Sombrero. Are you hiring or firing Heidi? Um, I think I'm hiring. Now it's time for the taste test. Really good. So good. For hiring Heidi at Samurai Sombrero, ah! <laughs> I'm Heidi Alaga. Okay. If you have a job you want me to try, send me an email. HiringHeidi at Kagan9.com is the email address. Now, I did make two different roles, but I didn't want to show the same steps. Uh, the second yeah. was fried, which was a lot harder. Is that right? Yeah, it was a lot harder because you have to fry it perfectly and, and batter it and whatnot. Uh, but I wanted to stick to the basics, and I still couldn't get it. Well, it looked pretty good. And you know what? It doesn't matter because it tasted good. It and that's all. It, it all so ends good. up in the same place, whether it looks perfect or not. That was one of those shoots where I'm like, I just want to have sushi all day every day now that I know how to make it. Uh, it makes me hungry for sushi. Kyler, what about you? Are you a sushi? I don't know if yeah. you've ever taught. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And that looked very good. Thanks. So.